The market cheered over the inflation data released this week. How 8.5% inflation is seen as a good thing in this week's Fastest 4 Minutes in Finance. Hello again, I'm Scott Inman and thank you for listening. Prices for goods and services were up 8.5% in July when compared to last July. Well, that in itself is still a pretty scary number. It's still one of the highest readings in 40 years. It is also a reminder that we are still in an economy that is in danger of overheating. But the markets were up big right after the inflation data was released on Wednesday. The Nasdaq shot up more than 2% and the Dow jumped 500 points. The reason? Well, for one, it was a smaller number than expected. Consensus estimates were expecting inflation to rise at 8.7%. But an even bigger reason is the July number may have signaled inflation is past its peak and is now slowing. The Consumer Price Index was up 9.1% in June, so 8.5% is a considerable drop, and much of that drop was driven by a significant decrease in gas prices. Core CPI, which excludes food and energy prices that tend to be very volatile, was unchanged, the same as June, at 5.9%. But if you pull in a little closer and look at the month-over-month number, CPI was flat for the first time since May 2020. So while inflation is still higher compared to where it was a year ago, it is about the same as it was last month. So why does all this matter? Well, the stock market is still caught in this crossroads of not knowing which way the economy is about to move. It's running hot right now with inflation. Corporations as a whole are still making money. But that cannot last if inflation hangs around. The Federal Reserve has been hiking interest rates all year in hopes of slowing consumer demand, which could slow inflation. But if that happens too quickly, that plan would backfire and the economy could come to a screeching halt. That's what the Fed wants to avoid. You may have heard that referred to as a soft landing. It's way too early to know by the July inflation numbers if that's working. As one economist points out, one month does not make a trend. But inflation does seem to be slowing right now and we will take it. The market wants to know the future, which is more difficult than ever right now. So we should expect more volatility as the economic data continues to be all over the map when it comes to being interpreted as positive or negative. What matters is staying invested in the equity markets for the long term and having a plan that prepares you for retirement with a diversified investment strategy that expects things to be rocky occasionally in the short term. Thanks for listening.